Hi everyone, Renee here. How are you? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to this week's Pick a Card Reading. So this reading is for the week of November 14th, 2022 and it is relevant from around the 14th to around the 21st. Some things may go out a week or two, but in general it is for this week. So which card do you feel drawn to right now? I'm going to hold them up. These are little the Fairy Wish Mandala deck. Here's card number one. Card number two. Or card number three. Which one do you feel drawn to right now? You know what to do. Look below at those timestamps. You can fast forward to your reading and I hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching. Hello, group one, if you chose the first card, this is your reading. So this is your first card. And on the back it says, the garden fairy reminds you that your life is like a garden. Plant beautiful things and care for them. Think and act with positive intentions. Pay attention to what you are creating in the world. So there's your first message for this week. Let's shuffle and draw some tarot cards for you and maybe get more information, a few specifics, see what's going on for you this week. We are smack dab in the middle of November. A lot of planets, um, I believe Mercury and Venus, are in Scorpio right now and they move into Sagittarius around the 16th. So this watery, psychic, deep eighth house energy is going to shift to fiery energy, adventurous energy of Sagittarius on Wednesday this week. So you might feel that shift and we might see that in the cards this week as well. So for you we have the Nine of Coins, the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, the Hermit, and the high priestess a lot of majors here a lot of major arcana i mean right off the bat i can tell you it's going to be a very fortunate week for you when it comes to higher learning finances taking care of things that have to do with residency your home contracts being signed if you're looking to buy a home or refinance anything to do with your home this would be a good time to do it yeah absolutely you are clearly um clear of mind you have clarity of mind i couldn't get that out right you have clarity of mind so all the decisions you're making especially monday through thursday is very clear you're very clear on what you want things are happening in your favor you're getting desirable outcomes in work with your home, with your career, with any contracts, documents, agreements, legal or otherwise. It's all working out in your favor. We have the end of something. You're leaving something behind. I mean, you could be relocating, some of you. Others of you, you're leaving a relationship. You're starting something new. You're starting a new family. You're getting married. You are moving in with your significant other there's a shift here there is the end of maybe feeling alone you're walking away from your past you're moving very clearly very confidently into your future this week so it's it's a big turning point and you definitely have some things to celebrate at least by the end of november a few things probably by the end of this week because of this major shift here this major change I do feel psychically that some of you are, um, you're entering a new relationship or a new partnership and you're, you're moving in together. You're buying home together or building a home together. Um, there's a sense of collaboration and strong communication, clear communication. Let's see what else I can tell you. There's a conflict. Let's see what that has to do with temperance. The Knight of Wands. Okay. Okay. There's a conflict. Whoops, that literally flipped out. So let's use it. 
there's a conflict either within you or you're having a conflict with a female who might be a water sign Pisces Scorpio Cancer um, I do feel like the conflict will eventually be resolved. It might not be resolved this week. It could be someone being stubborn where you're trying to assist and help her, but she's not wanting your help or claiming she doesn't want your help, okay? I would say keep reaching out, keep communication open with this person because eventually I feel you're gonna help them to maybe make their own move, make their own transition, okay? And on the other hand, some of you, someone's reaching out to offer you some assistance with your transition, your relocation, your move, whatever this big change is. And maybe at first you don't accept the, the assistance, the aid, the help, or advice, and eventually you do, and it is to your benefit. I can tell you that it does look like it's to your benefit, okay? So if someone is offering services or advice, especially advice, and especially if it's someone you're close to, someone you trust for the most part, I would say let them, let them help you. Let them assist you. They, they want to do it, and maybe you suspect them of wanting something in return, but it looks like no they're, they're really offering this out of the kindness of their heart is what i feel for most of you okay so let's draw you an oracle card and see what color goddess card we get for you this week group one okay so for you we have white white goddess angels purity and radiance this is a card to remind you that you do have angels and guides and a spiritual posse that are with you to help you and to assist you through transitions of your life. Like the Seven of Swords is a card of transition. So is the Eight of Cups. So is the Death card. There's transition, transformation. You have assistance and guidance here, okay? Also, diamond is the stone affiliated with this card. So, could mean some of you are getting engaged or married. Let's see what else we have. I wanna roll some dice. Let me get them out of my package here. We're gonna just roll two. We're gonna roll a zodiac die and a numbered die. And for you, we have Taurus and number 10. So, someone could have a Taurus sun moon or rising sign and then the 10th um, or number 10 or number one possibly is going to be relevant for you this week group one i hope this helps you i hope you have a great week i'll see you next time bye hello group two how are you let's take a look at your first card for this week the message here is feel the message of the lotus queen rise above problems see the bigger picture and the underlying grace of your life Rise above problems, see the bigger picture, okay? Put that over there. Let's get right into the tarot. What else does group two need to know about their week? Okay, so first we have the hermit the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Let's see what this Hermit has to do with. Could be higher learning, could be going within the world. Okay. Okay, so what I feel here psychically is a fresh start for you. Some of you might be finishing training um, and you're, you're getting the job or getting that position. Some of you are finishing school or starting school, um, but you're on your way to success. The world does bring an ending and a new beginning. This could be a partnership as well. It could be a business partnership. It could be a personal romantic partnership. 
whatever this is, it looks very, very fortunate, especially with the wheel of for I mean the world card. Which is a new beginning. I mean it's not quite as fortunate as the wheel of fortune, but it is a new beginning. And the four is very fortunate as well, and so is the seven of cups, which is um, options, choices. But sometimes, you know, I feel for you, this card, it's telling you that you're going to have options this week, okay? But also, you want to be very careful on which option you choose. You don't want to be tempted by the wrong thing. For example, let's say you always wanted to be um, a caregiver of some kind and you have a few job offers as a caregiver or a nurse or whatever and one of them allows you more freedom and maybe travel which maybe you enjoy and the other is working in a very busy hospital for a little bit more money um, you know you might want to figure out what would make you happier would the money make you happier and being very busy in a hospital that's very busy or would kind of setting your own pace, traveling, doing your own thing make you happier even though it's less pay. You don't want to be tempted by the money if the money is going to equal misery, okay? That kind of thing. So don't be tempted by the shiny new or shiny uh, thing that's standing out amongst all the others. You want to look behind the shine, underneath the shine, and look within yourself with the hermit card go within and figure out what's going to really make me happiest here what's going to really bring me the most uh soul fulfillment and the most joy right so we do have a card of a little bit of disappointment here um let's see what this is about yeah and essentially this is talking about work or something along those lines or a business where you're getting an offer it's not quite what you want or what you want or expect. Okay, you might want to look elsewhere, look at the next thing because you have multiple things here, multiple cups to choose from, and the first thing offered to you might not be the one. Right? Look a little further, look a little deeper, stand in the stillness, go within, like the hermit says, and figure out what's going to make you happiest. Queen of Coins there, that's probably you. Doesn't matter your sign, I feel like this is you and you're looking at all of this. Maybe at the end of the week, you, you wanna make a decision by next Monday, the 21st or 22nd or whatever it is. And you're looking at what's happened this week, what you've learned, your options. Trying to be very mindful, you probably have help with a partner that's looking at the situation with you and then you're taking action then you're making your choice all right so you have full support here this is you and and whatever um the reading is about in regards to money you know uh your business your schooling training your career and then here's someone who's supporting you the king of wands could be male or female doesn't really matter they're very uh, outspoken they're very sociable they are also very honest sometimes they are a Leo Aries or Sagittarius but whoever this is they are supporting you and you can trust them maybe trust their opinion maybe you talk to them and you give them the details of everything and you're both looking at all the circumstances leading up to this choice that you have so you're getting a little bit of help here let's see what else I can tell you Okay. Also, just real quick, for a few of you, this is a partnership where you're both kind of deciding to move to the next level with this relationship, whether it's getting engaged, moving in, getting married, planning a wedding, having a child, whatever the next phase or stage is, you both decide together, okay? So what else do you need to know? Group two, we have the Knight of Cups, which ironically can be a marriage proposal or an I love you there's the choice card the two of swords the son could be a family a child the fool is taking a chance 
there's a conflict within you between moving forward on something. For some of you, it could be discussing having a family with your person. Is it the right time to have children? We've got the Empress here on top of the sun, Knight of Cups as well. Um, so you're having like an inner conflict. Maybe you're one of those people who um, you have a career, you, you love your career, you're just not sure if you want to have a child at this time, you're not sure if you want to start a family and have a career or do one or the other. So you have a conflict within you, okay? I feel like you think you have to choose group two and that's totally up to you. It's a personal choice. I feel like some of you anyway have to choose or you feel you have to choose between having starting a family now or continuing your career. And I would say get your partner's or good friends advice and outlook on that if that is the case for you. And others of you, this is a choice between starting your own business or doing kind of what you're doing, only maybe working somewhere else is what I feel. I will say that there is a lot of family harmony this week, a lot of good things happening with your family, possibly, um, getting in touch with loved ones, talking on the phone, having visits or visiting a loved one. There's kind of a reconnection feeling here for you. And also assisting, helping someone, they're helping you. Got the devil, so what could that be? Maybe someone you haven't talked to in a while because you're afraid they'd be, they'd be too critical of you and your choices. I'm kind of getting the vibe that they wouldn't be too critical here. They would want to see your point of view, if that makes any sense. So a lot of stuff going on this week. Let's draw an Oracle card for you, group two. Hopefully something here makes sense for you. You can let me know in the comments. It's a lot of information coming through for you, probably for several different people. Um, I always try to narrow it down just to give general stuff, but my guides were kind of telling me, you know, what to give out. So that's what I did. So here is your card for the week, your color goddess card. We have aquamarine, change tides and flow, and it is a sign of Scorpio. And I think I mentioned it with group one is that a lot of things are shifting from Scorpio to Sagittarius on the 16th, which is Wednesday this week. So that energy is shifting from the emotions to action, okay? So it, very interesting. Also, let me know if you are a Scorpio. Um, let's roll dice. Let's get you a number and a zodiac sign. Okay, so we have Aquarius energy coming through. And we have number nine. So maybe the 19th. Maybe Saturday, I believe that would be Saturday, the 19th of November. But keep number nine in mind and the sign of Aquarius. And those two together, I do feel that something is ending and something new is beginning. I feel like this is a shift. The reading is quite similar for group one as well. But your message is to see the bigger picture and then to make decisions. All right. Hope this helps you. Have a great week. Bye. Hello, group three. How are you? So let's see what your first card is for this week's reading. There's the image. And it reads, the twin unicorns remind us of our sacred connection with others. Who do you feel at home with? Find your kindred soul family. They are out there. Find your kindred soul family. All right, group three, let's dive right into the tarot. Let me shuffle it just a little bit. Let's see what you need to know about your week. All right, so we have Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, Two of Cups, Judgment, 
And the tower. All right, let's see what is going on with group three. Move these up just a tad bit. New beginning, work, school, something creative or a business. There's a new beginning. There's a fresh start this week. There's nostalgia with the six of cups. Next to the two, could be someone coming back into your life who you have known a long time or someone who um, you haven't seen since you were children. Let's see what kind of a relationship this is. Okay. I'm not really getting super romantic vibes, but it could turn into romance if this is a friend from your past. It could grow into something greater, but definitely it is a good friendship at the very least. And you're reconnecting this week, okay? We've got Judgment and the Tower. Okay, interesting. Let's see. All right. So I feel we have Judgment the Tower. I drew that in between those two. So I do feel like like group two's reading, if you want to take a look at that, you have some decisions to make, some judgments to make this week, by the end of the week. Um, here, it kind of looks like it might benefit you to take a risk. The tower here, I believe, is your fear. I think this is your fear of making a mistake, okay? But we have the Fool with the Four and the Queen of Swords. She is moving forward. She is not looking back. That is you. Doesn't matter what sign you are. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. You are making this choice. You're moving forward. Um, all hands on deck, right? And that's it. You're moving forward no matter what happens from that point on. What does this decision have to do with? Let's take a look. Let's see if I can get anything about that. Ooh, romance. Yes, absolutely. So maybe that's what this is for most of you. Someone coming back into your life. Maybe they did hurt you in the past, or maybe you came out of a relationship that was very painful. And there is a tr an attraction here, but there's also a friendship. Honestly, I feel for most of you, this is somebody like, maybe it was a neighbor who might be a little bit younger than you or vice versa, and they hung out with a sibling, and you or they, you or they were always kind of like the young little pipsqueak tag along when you were little, but now you're both adults, they come back into your life. Maybe they always had a crush on you or vice versa. So there's that closeness, that friendship that's always been there because one of you was friends with the other, other sibling, but it grows into something more. And here for you, group three, you are being told to take a risk. You're being told to take a risk that no matter what happens, this relationship just might be worth the risk, all right? Of course, trust your own intuition if you feel this would be a horrible, dangerous relationship resulting in something like the tower, then don't take the risk, right? But for most of you, it's definitely worth a thought. It's worth you thinking about it, okay? So let's see what else I can tell you about your week. The page, the king, the five, and the ten. All right. Okay, there is news that is being shared with you in regards to this person, or this could be you. We've got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Um, you might be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, and that's you and this is you. That's what I feel for most of you. It could be an air, sun, or moon sign. You're, you're learning something. You're getting some, some communication about someone close to you this week who might be ill. Yeah, and feeling alone. And you might want to rally all the friends or the family members to help this person through this difficult time 
and one of the people is the king of cups which is usually a scorpio but sometimes pisces or cancer so this is you this is the other person or vice versa but someone is having a hard time whether it's with their health or their finances or maybe their mental health maybe they've been highly depressed or anxious or they're grieving and they just can't seem to um get past a certain stage of the grieving well you and others are kind of stepping up and helping this person out because you love them or some people are coming together to help you out in this time of need because they love you this is a very close joyful family card all right group three so lots of joyful emotions this week it's a very emotional week for you more so than the other two groups i'd say because this is you know you're emotionally invested in this whether it's you or another person who you love and of course if it's romance you're emotionally invested in that also the queen of swords can be someone who's highly independent she's been called the single queen the widow queen and maybe you've been alone for a while and that's another reason you don't want to start a romantic relationship you like your life the way it is but again it might be worth taking this chance it just might be worth it that's up to you it's all going to be up to you individually let's look at this message again yeah who do you feel at home with find your kindred soul family this is about relationships for you group three someone coming back into your life possibly a romantic relationship whether it's that person or someone else someone who you care about deeply that's suffering that needs you you're weak aside from this new beginning with your work or school or career or creative thing aside from that great card that's kind of telling you there's really no other worries in your life this week there's nothing else really going on that's noteworthy except for this emotional relationship stuff so that's kind of where your focus is so let's take a look and see what oracle card i can draw for you for the week from my color goddess casting cards and they are i think 20 percent off right now so if you wanted my deck now would be a good time to get it maybe it would make a nice gift for yourself or someone else okay so your card is sepia look at that nostalgia reminiscence and reverie it's also the sign of Gemini, which is an air sign, like the king and queen of swords. So definitely, it is a week of nostalgia for you. Someone returning who you might have known when you were children, okay? Let's roll some dice and see what we get for you, group three. Oops, this one almost landed on the floor. I'm going to re-roll it and it is libra which is also an air sign lots of air and um water energy for you this week cup and sword energy and number four is all about stability all about stability could mean the 14th which is monday so maybe something happens the 14th Libra, you or someone involved could be a Libra sun or moon sign. So keep that in mind as well. It's all, it's all about balance as well. It's about the scales. So there is a sense of balance with the Libra and the four. Four is a number of balance. Think of four legs on a table, four legs on a chair. It's all about balance. So there is balance in all areas of your life this week. So the focus is emotional and relationships. Okay, I hope this helps you. I'll see you next time. Bye.